Hey guys, my name is Roy LaChapelle, real estate agent with Street City Realty. I've been a real estate agent for a year and a half now, and today I want to talk to you about how to survive your first year in real estate. Let's get into it. When I first got started, I was all over the place. Since many people told me so many different things, I was trying so much that I didn't really know what was working and what wasn't working for my business. So I decided, and now this was later in the year, that I needed to focus on three or four things that I really enjoy doing that grow, that will help grow my business and do them well. Focus on those and put all your passion and, and time into those and, and tweak those along the way. You know, it's gonna take about six months to really focus and, and realize on what works, what doesn't work. You know, I'd say after that six to eight months, if there is something that's not really helping your business or you find you could maybe be doing something different, shift your focus to that. But I would say always keep it consistent with maybe three or four things so you don't lose focus as well, right? Become too overwhelmed. That was what I, an issue that I had. Another issue I had was setting goals. That's something I did not do early enough was setting goals. You know, having goals based on what you're trying to focus your business on, setting goals to those, and then also having tasks that will allow you to achieve those goals. That's huge, and that can help you stay focused in the long run and help you achieve the end result that you want for your business. And another point I want to talk with you about is being confident. I know it's easier said than done, but having knowledge of your market and homes in general will make you such a more confident person when talking with people. And I know, especially for me in my first year, as soon as someone knows you're a real estate agent, they'll come up, with, come up to you and ask you questions. Family events, people are asking you questions about the market, about homes, and if you have the knowledge and, and you really learn and soak everything up your first year, you'll be able to be confident and, and answer questions that people have, be able to have good discussions with people about real estate, and this will not only boost their trust level in you, but make you look like a, a seasoned vet <laughs> rather than a first year agent. So having confidence is huge, and just learning a lot in your first year is important. And lastly, have money saved up, guys. You know, a lot of agents don't even do deals until maybe six months into the business. So having a budget in play, having money set out month to month uh, with your business expenses, you know, being able to live, you want to have that money set out and, uh, and disperse it evenly among those three to four things that you've decided to focus on. And this will allow you to just live a bit more comfort comfortably and not be too stressed out because you never know when your first deal is going to come. Maybe in the first month, maybe not till six to eight, eight months down the road. So you just have that money saved up and have a budget. So those are some tips about how you can survive your first year in real estate. Remember, focus is key. Never lose focus. Be patient and be confident and be consistent. You're going to have a lot of failures in your first year. There's no doubt about it. And the agents that succeed are the ones that can overcome those failures and grow from them. And if you can do that, mixed with some hard work, you will succeed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you can take away something from this video. Go out there and crush your first year in real estate.